Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna see if these hand warmers can make this Mr. Heater Buddy work properly with this frozen propane tank. And if you've ever tried to use the Mr. Heater Buddy in the really cold weather, you'll know that the propane uh, doesn't work very efficiently. And so last month I did a couple videos testing the Mr. Heater Buddy and found out how bad it was in the cold. But the last video I did was a hack that made it work really efficiently in the extreme cold. It was about minus 25 or, or something like that that day and it worked great. And one of the uh, main themes in the comments was wondering if you could use hand warmers to warm up the frozen tank and make that buddy heater work uh, the way it should. In those videos, I demonstrated how the buddy heater would fail in these temperatures. So I'm not gonna do that again today, but I will leave a link down in the description for those videos. If you need a hack while you're out in the field for uh, a propane powered something or other, whatever it is, I highly recommend you go watch it. So I had the propane tank in the snowbank for probably about uh, an hour and a half. I wanted to make sure it was good and cold for this demonstration. And the heater buddy has probably been out for about a half an hour right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the tank ready with the hand warmers right now. So one of the things you have to do is you have to move these around to activate them apparently. Okay, so here's what I did. I took string and put it all around here. And the reason I did that was because just to demonstrate, if you're out in the field, maybe you have some rope or anything, you can manage to uh, get these onto the thing. So what a lot of people said in the comments of my other videos there was to use a sock or something like that. So what I have here is I just cut a piece of uh, long sleeve shirt. So it's long and it will go over this perfectly. Okay, so there it is. That was a full tank. It's on high. You can see it's pumping out the heat because the wood stove fan is going. I'm just uh, gonna see how much heat I can throw into this thing. Uh, just my little project here. But uh, one thing you'll notice is that I don't have it inside the tent. I don't want it inside the tent because this small little shelter here might make it too hot to really do a good experiment because I want that I want that tank to stay out in the cool a little more. Oh, I can feel that pumping out some really nice heat there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check back on this in about an hour and make sure that it's still running and uh, we'll tune in then. Start timer for one hour. I'll start your timer for one hour. Okay, folks, we're back. It's been about an hour and maybe 20 minutes. And so let's go have a look at what's happening. Here we go. I got some stuff out in here. I was just filming another video. So let's have a look. Fan's still spinning. And as you can see, this is out. It's done. Yeah, so there you have it. It shut off after not too long and it's only minus 14 outside, not minus 25 like my other ones. But let's have a look and see what's going on with the tank. So let's take this sock off, see what's going on here. You can see that the bottom is frozen here. Oh, ooh, that's cold. These things, not hot, they're cold. They're not working. And I know that sometimes with these things, like I think sometimes the more you work them, you shake them, that they'll work better. And then when you leave them, just sit there, that they don't always work. But I don't know, these are cold. So I don't know if it's the propane tank overpowering these things or what, not sure. But what I do know is that it didn't work. And listen, lots of propane in here, like half to three quarters of a tank. Yep, so in my mind that settles it. It's minus 14 and those hand warmers would not keep the tank warm enough to keep the buddy heater even running for more than an hour and a half. So, and I just wanna say thanks to everybody who commented in my last couple of videos and all the people who, who thought about using the hand warmers in a sock or whatever. Um, it was a good idea and I didn't know if it would work. So I appreciate it. You're the ones who gave me the idea for this video. So um, yeah, now we know for sure. Remember the most important thing, folks, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. So I'm in now watching some Steve Wallace and I just want to say that these hand warmers, once I started moving them around again, 
they're getting warm. So just uh, just for your info. See ya.